morning, ladies and gentlemen. Out in the shop this morning, it's a little brisk, it's getting cold. I've been uh, trying to acquire some kerosene heaters inexpensively. Picked that one up on Facebook Marketplace for a sweet deal. Runs great. As you can see, I got it turned on right now. It's throwing some nice heat. This one I picked up at a flea market for a massive $5, which is a uh, terrific deal. It works, however, it doesn't work well. So what I'm gonna try and do today is fix it. And by the way, I think I know the reason. It looks to me like the fuel that's in here has this interesting reddish dye in it, which tells me it's probably off-road diesel. You do not run, wanna run off-road diesel in one of these things. You don't wanna run diesel, period, in one of these things because it's gonna clog up the wick. And it's also burns filthy. And you can notice there's a lot of black residue on this thing that uh, is another indication that it's probably been burning diesel so it's an easy fix take it apart we're going to change out the change out the wick we're going to drain the fuel that's in here assuming it really is diesel put in some fresh kerosene and then we'll see where we are well taking this apart seems to be pretty straightforward there were a couple screws here in the side pull these out now this entire housing can just be pulled right off. We don't have to disassemble the housing at all. Just set that aside, and there we go. So let me see if I can get you in here closer. There, how's that? Can you see that okay? I think the next thing we do is take this knob off, and then this housing can come off that off there we go this definitely is dirty in here seriously dirty now I think this comes off somehow there we go a little snug okay now I think at this point we can take these wing nuts off. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. That's, you notice how that wick is red? That is definitely diesel. So, well, that's the root problem. All right. Okay, I'm back. So I pumped almost a gallon of fuel out of here, put it into this container. Got the uh, contraption with the, with the diesel laden wick right there. And now I think I'm just going to use a rag and try and wipe up the excess diesel that's down in inside the housing there. diesel fuel off of there.
All right. So basically, this is just kind of reasserted with the those three metal pins going into there, like that. There's one, there's one, and All right, I'm doing this wrong. It says right here, up this way, which means it goes like this. So let's try and get that right the first time so we don't end up doing it twice. Okay, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Like that. All right. Now, I think right or wrong that what we can do here is put this back in place. what we do is we put this over the igniter like this. There we go. Put that down over the Apparently this is the igniter. I, what do I know? But we put that down like that. Okay. Then, this goes back in. Now there's these channels here that have to get on those. Ah, see, this says I'm wrong. It says I was right the first time. Let's take this off again. Like this. This has to go in here first. Get this out of the way. So, I'm gonna do this upside down. So this has to go in, and then the metal bits have to go down. So that, stick my little mitt down in here. That pins in, and that pins in, and all you have to do is just push that pin through. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is. Now, now we got the pin through. Okay, now we can do this. Bring this back over. This is the front, meaning this is where the control knob goes. Put that down there. Now we're going down over the igniter and over. There we go. Down over. Now, so I'm just going to put a couple of these wing nuts on here, get this held down in place, and we'll just do a little bit of testing. Make sure that wick goes up and down the way we want it to. Okay, I'm putting my knob back on. It goes on one way. There we go. 
Now, if I turn this to the right, it should raise the grip. There, Shazam. And then this should release it. Uh-oh, that didn't work. I'm back. All right, so I do have this back together. Got all four wing nuts on now. And actually, I actually think the wing nuts, only having two on, may have been just, you know, contorting things a little bit that it wouldn't go back down, which you see it does now. So the other safety mechanism is kind of the tip over protection, which is this little wobble thing. So you can see that also works. Got the wick up. Oh, there we go. Down she goes. So we can finish putting this thing together. I'm not sure which of these is the, there we go. Not sure which of those was the set screw, but. I don't even know why a set screw would be required there. But what we need to do now is I'm gonna put some actual kerosene in this tank and then we have to let this wick sit and soak up kerosene for a good hour before we actually try it out. So I'll go ahead and uh, fill it up and I uh, well, guess we could finish putting this thing together. Said, I'll fill it up with kerosene and then we'll try it out. So notice that actual kerosene is clear. And you might be interested in knowing it doesn't uh, stink as bad. Kerosene is a much cleaner, more purified product on what diesel fuel is. Well, it turns out it didn't take more than a minute or two for that wick to really soak up the kerosene. So, let's look in the flame. Well, I can tell you, that's looking, just got it started. It's already looking a whole lot better than what, what it was doing before. Anyways, got a nice high flame off of that now. And by the way, all of a sudden, the fuel gauge started to register correctly. I don't know what that was about, but there you have it. We're throwing some heat now. Thanks for hanging out with me for the last hour. <laughs>